This is very personal for me because I started working with young kids in New Haven and I fell in love with several of them, mostly this one. He was smart as can be, as sweet as can be, as creative as can be, and he taught me how to meditate. And it was one of the most profound experiences to have a child teach you how to meditate. It's very much in keeping with this paradigm, isn't it? Children can teach us the most important things. And what he's teaching me, in addition to how to meditate, is how messed up society is with regard to child development, our society at least. So every time I go back to New Haven, New Haven, Connecticut is a rough town. If you're a child in New Haven, you're gonna sleep less because in the middle of the night you will hear gunshots in certain neighborhoods. Every time a kid hears a gunshot in the night, this is actual research in the south side of Chicago, if they, some kids have to take tests the next day and some sociologists have looked at their test scores and correlated them with the homicide. Homicide happens, it's not far away from where you live, your test score drops by a half a standard deviation. He's, he's motivating my work and it's really sad because every time I go back, he's a little bigger, his face shows signs of stress and the environment he lives in, and the meditation program that, he, that is keeping his humanity alive is hanging by a thread financially. And it breaks my heart. Because in a couple of years, so this is how it works. I'm a, partly a developmental psychologist. In a couple of years, you go, into, you go into the kindergarten classes. Everybody's cute. Empathy is 100% for cute, cute children. They can do wrong stuff. You forgive them because they're cute. Then they get a little older, a little older. And some of the kids start losing their cuteness. And so the forgiveness abates a little bit. And you can tell when you teach, you're being forgiven and empathized with. Something, that for white children, for black children, something else happens. He will begin to look three older, years older to the average person, and he will look like a criminal, and his teachers will even feel slightly menaced by him because the stereotypes of our society mark him as a rat. A rat gets in many cases will get more respect than this child when he grows up. Right now he's cute, he's meditating, he's doing well in school, but I've seen it happen hundreds of times. And we have very little going on to save him. The really good stuff is all optional, like the meditation. 